Hello. With Ark being six years old, you may be wondering if it's still worth playing. And if you have never played it, is it worth picking up now? Well, hopefully I can answer your questions by the end of this video. Ark recently launched a new DLC called Lost Island that came with a new map, three new dinosaurs, and a new boss to fight. This map feels more like a survival map with well laid out biomes. It feels like the original Ark and is quite a bit of fun to play. Ark has become a game you speedrun to level 100, then speedrun taming and breeding dinos to get to the point you can beat all the alpha bosses quickly and get your tech ingrams and fight other players. If you're not into PvP, there are non-PvP servers and you can also play single player. There is quite a bit of PvE content in Ark. PvP just adds a bit more to do since you have to try and get stronger dinos and items than the people you're going to fight against. If you can't get ahead of whomever you're fighting, then you need to be much better at the game than them. Let me know in the comments below if you want a video covering the different types of servers. If you've never played Ark before, you can spend months just learning the game mechanics. Once you have a good understanding of the game, you can quickly get to the point where nothing in PV is a challenge, but still, that takes a long time to get to. You'll get anywhere from 60 to 5,000 hours of PvE fun from this game. Personally, I have over 15,000 hours on PvP servers. Oftentimes, Ark goes on sale, or at least the base game does, and you can get it and all the free DLCs for a very low price, giving you a ton of gameplay for very little. There are five free DLCs with a six DLC on the way. Then there are four paid for DLCs. So there's a lot of content, and Wildcard is still adding even more content to the game. But you have heard the game is buggy and full of cheaters. Well, to an extent, this is true. The game has quite a few bugs and issues. They are much less than they used to be, and Wildcard has started fixing issues at a super fast rate lately. For a game with this many different mechanics and styles, it really is not as buggy as one would expect. Most are not game breaking and will rarely be experienced. That said, players in PvP will purposely use or create bugs to gain advantage. This will be true of any competitive survival game. If it's possible to cheat, there will be players that will cheat. Wildcard does the best they can to detect and find cheaters, then ban them. Even Halo had cheaters, this is nothing new. But isn't Ark over and Ark 2 on the way? After all, I said that in a previous video. Well, this is kind of true. Arc 2 was supposed to be out in a few months for early access, but has been moved back to an unknown date. Most likely not in the next year. The Arc storyline has completed with Gen 2, but Wildcard is still working on free DLCs to release to keep players interested. June of 2022 should have a new DLC called Fjordor. This map is a mod map you can download and play, but Wildcard is altering and balancing it, then releasing it as an official map. That brings us to mods. If you're looking for a fun single player or co-op survival game, there are many mods you can download that transform what Ark is and can cater to your playing style. Some mods completely revamp Ark. There was a mod that changed the game to basically Pokemon. If you just want some quality of life changes, mods are a good way to go as well. There are also higher rate modded unofficial servers you can play on with other players. If you had not yet played Ark, or you have but want something new in Ark, there is a lot of content for you to play through. In my opinion, Ark is definitely worth playing in 2022, but with Ark 2 around the corner, I would definitely not buy it at full price. Wait for a sale. Then again, other than Skyrim, what other game are you going to get thousands of hours out of playing? If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Have an awesome day.